Before we begin, please ensure you've watched the previous video and correctly installed the Homebrew channel. Go to the URL provided in the description, github.com forward slash reconnect24 forward slash wemodlite forward slash releases. Scroll down and download wemodlite version 1.7 and the wemodlite 1.7 forwarder. The forwarder will allow us to install this as an application on the Wii Home screen. Now go to the root of your SD card, which has been freshly formatted. Create a folder called Apps. This is where we will place applications we want to run using the Homebrew channel. Create another folder called WADS. This is where we will place WAD files to install using WeMod Lite. Open the WeMod Lite folder and copy the contents to the Apps folder. Open the forwarder and place these files in the WADS folder. Once you have placed the SD card back into the Wii, open the Homebrew channel. You should now see the Wii Mod Lite icon. Load it up and choose WAD Manager at the menu screen and select the SD card as the location. Go down to your WADS folder and choose Wii Mod Lite. Press A to begin the installation. Once the installation is complete, the Wii Mod Lite software will now be available on the home screen, meaning we no longer need to run it from the SD. Now let's demonstrate how to add games. Any games you want to add to the home screen will be placed in your WADS folder on the SD card. For now, make sure they're the correct region for your console. We will be covering changing regions at a later date. With the SD card back in the Wii, you can repeat the previous process directly from your home screen to install games to the system. Enjoy! If you'd like more Wii tutorials in the future, please subscribe and click the bell icon.